Hola, folks. I just wanted to give you guys some updates on me, what's been going on with me, what's been going on with my body, um, and what progress I've made. If you guys don't know your girl, <laughs> you don't know me, what's up? My name's Vicky, okay? And I'm just this little girl from Texas and, you know, been trying to grow up, winning it. Adult life is taking its toll on me and I've really been trying to get my body to optimal health. So that's what I'm doing in this journey. It's really not a gain weight journey. It's really not a trying to get thick journey, even though getting thick is a plus. <laughs> if that happens, okay. I'm trying to get my body in the best health possible because I know that I've been doing my body dirty. Like, I mean, a lot of us have. Growing up, we just didn't eat right. We didn't take care of ourselves right. So I'm just trying to get it right. Get it right, get it tight. If you have not already, please make sure you are subscribed so you can keep up with me and keep up with all of my updates. If you guys wanted to check out the previous videos that I've made regarding my health, my, my eating habits and all of that, to learn more about me, you can go ahead and check that out. It's gonna be in the card section up here. I've had previous videos talking all about my um, consultation that I had with a holistic doctor. I really wanted to get my health back on track, mainly focusing on my reproductive health because I did have some issues, not being regular and just not having um, the kind of consistency that I would like to have, especially being a married woman. Um, and I've never been on birth control before. So I'm just trying to make sure that my body is actually functioning correctly because I felt like it wasn't for some time. And it's really not just about having babies. I've never been regular since I started my period when I was 14 years old. So I've always felt like I was kind of underdeveloped. I've always felt like I was kind of, you know, behind in the womanly aspects of life because I never grew boobs and my body's always been really, really small. I was 99 pounds when I got married to my husband. He talked about how much stress my body was undergoing, um, how I've been, you know, kind of offsetting that stress and put getting more nutrients out of my food because I don't have a huge diet. So that's kind of been my journey. And so now I'm working with a holistic doctor to get my body back in track. So this year, I am happy to say Although I haven't been in the best, best, best health that I want to be in, I still am maintaining a lot of that progress. I have had a very regular, 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 regular cycle. Like, this is the first time I've ever had a whole year's worth of regular cycles. This year, something new has been happening. Once a month, my boobs get large and in charge, honey, like. And they like bounce when I walk. You know, they rumble. I'm like, what? This is I was really excited about that. However, they were really painful. Um, and I was, that was happening every month. Um, also, that what's been different is that probably half of the periods that I've had this year, I've gotten flu-like symptoms during my period. It'll be like the after the day or so of being on my period, I will literally get the flu. Like chills, body aches, pounding 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 like i can't even get up and walk headaches i will be sitting on this couch like for two days can't move um unless i'm drugged up so that has happened to me multiple occasions what i think that has a lot to do with is my diet and it has a lot to do with stress knowing my body has very high stress resistance i have to be very very cautious of how much stress i'm putting on myself because i'm actually not really aware of how much stress my body is undergoing until it's too late. Because my body is trying to function at a normal level, my hormones are trying to regulate and get normal, it's it's taking a lot more out of me. Um, and I'm not sure if it's because my body's not used to doing all of this, but from what I feel like my body is doing, I've noticed that anytime I get sick like that, I wasn't eating right. I probably was under a lot of stress prior to, like there were a lot of events going on or I was flying on a plane or traveling or something like that. Pressure from the aircraft is a lot and then just being all over the place, being in an unstable environment um, cause it kind of causes me to undergo a little bit of anxiousness and stress. Me and planes don't get along. Everything goes wrong when I fly on a plane. Like my face breaks out and then I get stressed out. So so there's it's a twofold sickness. It's like I get these flu symptoms and then I have gastrointestinal problems where I'm like belching. My, I get like heartburn, um, you know, pains in my stomach and stuff. It's not cool. I can't poop and then I don't want to eat anything. Like I, my appetite is zero. It could also be dehydration. I just feel like there's a lot of different things that's going on into this that I just need to make sure I'm drinking enough water, eating right, and not putting myself under a lot of stress. Usually when I do those things correctly, my period is easy breezy. Um, that's why I think you have to be very cautious about what you do on your period or around your period. 
So yeah, if you guys want me to talk more about that in a different video, just all about periods and how I kind of alleviate the symptoms of getting sick and all of that, eating right for your vagina basically, um, I can do that video for you guys. Um, right now I'm gonna get more into just some of the things that I talked about with my doctor. I went to go visit my doctor for the first time in September, long time ago, I know, but it seemed like that was just yesterday. For those of you who've been asking, I am not gonna give out my doctor's information at the moment. I will ask her if she wants me to or if she would be okay with me giving out her info. I just feel like I don't wanna like bombard her with a lot of people asking her questions and trying to make consultations and things like that because she does have two different practices. So I'm not sure how much time she has to devote to people, I don't know if she works on a referral basis or on like, you know, just a regular clientele basis. So I'll check with her and make sure. Um, but like I've always said, I feel like you guys should definitely do your research and find a, a holistic doctor in your area um, that can treat you and help you out near you. It's always better to know somebody, to have somebody close to you just because um, it's not cool for me to not be able to go into the doctor and see my doctor. You know what I mean? Like I have to literally fly to Atlanta to go see her and I've only seen her once. So it would just be better if you had a consultation with your own doctor and did your own research. But I will ask her if she would mind if I gave out her information. Um, I went to go, I went to Atlanta with my mom and then I went to go visit my doctor. Her, my mom and my doctor are kind of cool. So, you know, they already know each other. She treats my dad as well. So, um, it's kind of like a family situation you know what I mean so I just gave her my basic updates like I just gave you um, giving her some of the rundown of what's been going on with me with the flu symptoms and everything like that um, and she was saying that I've made pretty good progress even though I'm not a hundred percent sticking to my gluten-free whole food diet I am trying and that's what's matters the most is that I'm literally not eating loaves of bread anymore as my dinner so that's helpful she did commend me on being able to keep my weight up and you know just getting my hormones back on track so that's good and then she did a couple tests on me she just did like a, a resting heart rate test um you know and she kind of told me about my heart rate which was interesting she said that I have an extra heartbeat but you know when you look at the monitor and it's like do 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 my heartbeat is like do 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 like that's my heartbeat like and cam always tells me he's like babe why is your heart beating like that and i'm just like what are you talking about i'm always on high alert so if i needed to jump off a building really quickly i could do it because <laughs> that means um she did say that my stress resistance is high my ability to resist stress is high and then uh we did some tests with supplements to give me a new supplement regimen just to update it and, and kind of replace some of the supplements that i was already taking um to see what my body actually needs now holistic medicine is basically just using natural resources to take care of your body instead of using prescription drugs or medication band-aid solution your problems it's basically treating the whole body with what you eat what you take in right um, everything has an energy everything has a frequency so like everything around you conducts a frequency including yourself you conduct a frequency people conduct frequencies everybody has a frequency right because of that certain things that don't agree with your body frequency can disrupt your nervous system it can disrupt your mind waves and all of that stuff because we live in such a technological technological age and everything around us is literally electronic it's throwing off a lot of our frequencies in our nervous systems in our body it's making us insane basically so she was talking about the electromagnetic fields in our phones in the computers that we use how literally having a phone on us is like throwing our whole bodies off um sleeping with your phone next to you always having your phone in your pocket always having a phone or some kind of electromagnetic field on you or around you literally is screwing with our bodies okay so because i work on my phone my phone is like a deterrent it causes me more stress she did this test with me to show me how like certain things can disrupt my frequencies in my body by like taking my ring finger and my thumb and putting it together and you shouldn't somebody should not be able to pull these two fingers up, uh to pull these fingers apart but if something is disrupting your frequency they'll be e they'll easily be able to pull them apart she was explaining it all to me but basically she was showing me how my fingers were breaking apart when certain things were in my vicinity like she would have me hold my phone and try to break my fingers apart and it would always break apart i tried this on cam and my friends and stuff because you can do it on other people but they didn't believe me they thought it was some wizardry and then they thought it was like uh, all in your mind and stuff like that and it probably is in your mind but your mind controls your body so i mean what you trying to tell me that your mind don't 
connect to your limbs, okay? It does. I'm trying to explain this as best as possible without sounding ridiculous because I'm not a doctor. Um, but anyways, she gave me some information about electromagnetic fields. I can put it in the description box if you want me to. But basically just like talking about how these emissions from these electromagnetic fields can basically be detrimental to our nervous system causing stress and interference with our bodies. Make sure you're not near a Wi-Fi router Make sure when you're sleeping. Make sure your phones are away from you at night. Don't put your phone on your head when you're talking on it. And I do find that when I sleep with my phone far away from me or in a different room, charging in another room, I sleep way better. Um, that's some of the stuff she was talking to me about. She also realigned my spine, which is cool because she's a chiropractor as well. So she realigned my spine. Um, and then she gave me some new supplements based on just seeing what worked well with my body. She literally prescribed all my supplements by seeing what pulled my fingers apart. You guys always ask me about which supplements I take. Some of the supplements that I take now include wheat germ oil. I take an adrenal um, supplement. I take a supplement for vitamin D, of course, because everybody lacks vitamin D in their system unless you live literally on the beach. I still have to continue to take my protein, uh, complete nutrition protein shake, which I now mix in maca powder into that shake. And maca powder is really good for hormone balance and energy. Actually, one of the things I feel like has been keeping me regular the whole year. Also takes black, Spanish black radish, organically bound minerals, and something for my thyroid as well. And then I also take a hormone combination and bacteria tox, uh, homeopathic remedies um, that you squirt into your mouth. It's disgusting, but it works. Um, as well as that, I'm trying to continue to eat whole food, healthy, gluten-free for the most part. Um, and just trying to make sure I stay away from processed foods, even though I have wing stop today, but we're not going to talk about that. I'm just trying to do better. Just trying to be more aware of what I'm putting into my body, what I'm consuming, how much energy I'm giving to things that don't matter and things that stress me out. 20, I'm about to be 27 in January, so I feel like I'm almost 30. I got to get my life together, okay? She's going to have me do another hair tissue analysis just to make sure that every, everything is going smoothly again. We're also doing another test. It's called a hormone panel, which I'll give you guys more information about once I get the results back. Back. I'm gonna be sending that out soon but it's basically like 30 vials of spit from the past cycle but that's gonna tell me a lot more about my period and what's going on with my reproductive health and all of that because we want to make sure that the, the coochie right okay anyways that is pretty much all for my health update um, in regards to my weight and everything, I don't know if y'all noticed, but my body been right. Whatever I've been doing, I'm just gonna keep it up because I've been looking a little thick lately. I don't even know why. I just been looking a little thick. I don't know if you guys wanted a hair update, but I'll give you a really quick one. This is how long my hair is these days. Um, for those of you who know, I had a red pixie cut in 2016 or at the beginning of 2017, and now we are here at the end of 2018. Um, if I still had all that red in my hair, my hair would probably be down to here because I had like this much red in my hair. So, uh, we cut off all the red and we are officially all natural, honey. No chemicals, no dyes, just natural. This is a silk press. I just got her done today. Um, but yeah, that's how long my hair is. So, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much else to say about my hair. I get a lot of requests to do hair updates and I have nothing to say about my hair but that it grew. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I think I've talked about everything that I wanted to say. If I forgot something, I'll just talk about it in the next health update. It'll be like eight months from now. But you know, I will be giving an update on like foods I like to eat and stuff I like to snack on and things like that. I want to do another grocery haul and talk to you guys about food and everything. So I'll do that soon when I go to the store again. Um, just hope you guys are drinking your water and minding your business. Don't let these haters stop you from doing your thing. Um, as far as my mental health and everything goes, I feel like I'm in a lot better space now. I'm really not trying to fight what's going on in my life and just kind of going with the flow, living in the moment, and I'm enjoying it. Um, plus, the holidays is coming up, and I'm always in better spirits during the holidays. So, I will talk to you guys in my next video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you soon.